After publicly announcing his departure from Paris Saint-Germain for David Beckham's Inter Miami, Lionel Messi will be joining the MLS. The 35-year-old, who last year won the World Cup with his beloved Argentina, is said to have turned down a massive $2.5 billion transfer to Saudi Arabia as well as a return to his previous club Barcelona. According to sources, the forward and his wife Antonella Roccazzo could not envision themselves settling in the Middle East, therefore they chose to move to the United States rather than Saudi Arabia. Messi announced his relocation only last week, although the Argentinian has really had a Miami property for some time. The World Cup champion purchased a Miami property in the Porsche Design Tower back in 2019, according to the Spanish publication Cadena Sur. The forward wants his three children to finish high school in the United States before attending college, so the Porsche Design Tower, which was erected in 2017, is the ideal site for the family to settle down in the country. The 60-floor tower is approximately 25 minutes from the Inter-Miami Stadium between Balhaba and Aventura. It provides inhabitants with breathtaking views over the neighborhood, including Miami Beach, which is close by the tower and can be reached in a matter of seconds. The building has a number of elevators just for resident automobiles, enabling owners to park their cars inside their own unit. The property offers a private restaurant and an outdoor terrace that overlooks the sea in addition to vehicle lifts. In addition to a movie, golf, and racing simulators, Messi's stunning new house provides his family with the ideal idle activities. Real estate investors, many of whom are international, have long found Miami to be a secure center. More specifically, the city is home to one of America's largest Latino populations, and more than half of Miami's international real estate purchasers are from Latin America, according to the National Association of Realtors. Messi is also interested in making the most of his current endorsement agreements with Adidas and Apple, both of which have ties to MLS and stand to benefit from more visibility now that the 35-year-old is playing in the U.S. His presence bows is a significant potential for MLS, which has a $250 million streaming contract with Apple TV and may increase its revenue from the tech giant by achieving an unspecified minimum number of subscriptions. That appears to be an achievable aim for MLS now that Messi has joined the team, which is probably what drove the decision to bring him to Miami. The fact that the 2026 World Cup will be hosted in North America is undoubtedly a benefit, even though Messi has stated he doesn't plan to play in another World Cup at age 39. Messi would be able to take use of his current endorsement relationships in the U.S. rather than having to uproot his family for a month and move them abroad.